Today in the Store DJ studio, we have Greg, the Global Zone Product Specialist at Allen & Heath, to talk us through the differences between the brand new Zone K1 controller and the popular K2. Okay, so we're looking at the Zone K2 and K1 controllers from Allen & Heath. The K2 is a MIDI controller that's 100% customizable for you, so in effect a blank canvas. It's got sound card outputs which are located on the front, which 3.5mm mini jack there and dual RCA phono on the back. Some uses of this can be plug some headphones in the front, cue, prep, mix on the move. Additionally, you can say I'll take maybe that output to one channel of a mixer, back to another and have two channel mixing. If you say to yourself, okay, I really don't need a sound card, I'm not prepared to pay for a device that's got one in, then here we have the Zone K1. So the K1 obviously looks on the outset Similar controls, laid out the same, um, but no sound card interface. So this is just a pure MIDI controller. What both of the units are made up of is these rotary endless encoders with push function. You've got these pots here with no center detent. These are built on Allen Heaves nut and bolt principle, so they can take the impact damage as you're using it on the chassis here. Uh, we have switches and then we've got linear faders and then more switches here and more rotary encoders. Uh, these switches uh, can be illuminated in three different colours so we have red, amber and green here on display. It might well be that you want these to react in a different manner when you're mixing so you might want one colour for one function um, and when it's playing it might, you might want to pulse the colour again what, that's why we've left it as a blank canvas for you. It's to say, it's your controller, work how you want. We like to stay versatile, and also the fact that you could be using this in the day with some production software, launching clips, or, or, or easier access to an instrument, and then in the evening DJing, so you can get more functions out of the same controller and the same unit. You could put an overlay over the top of this as well, when you're first learning that we provide um, on the website to, to kind of get you a bit more used to where you've got your controls laid up. Why this unit has been popular is the fact that it is customizable. You're not holding to one system. You can change the software. Um, on the back here, we've got USB connection, and then we've got X-Link in and out. Now, X-Link is a great thing because we can save USB ports on our computer. So what we can do is we can say simply USB to our computer on K2 number one, and then I can X-Link another unit, and daisy chain them off each other and have multiple units all running off that one USB cable. Now, of course, with the new K1 here, uh, this gives you the option to say, if you don't need a sound card, we can map it how we want, customize it. I've still got X-Link in and out, so I can daisy chain multiple units, but now obviously we've got the option to say, well, actually, if I want to create a K2 and K1 combination, so I do need one to be my sound card interface, but I don't need any, 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 any further sound cards. So you can say, well, okay, obviously the K1 has the different price points, you can say oh, I can save some money and I can still daisy chain via X-Link more co controllers together. Uh, the fact that they're lightweight and portable but still has the metal on the top um, means that they're going to definitely last for a lot of performance use. The K2 has a latching layer system, so this means I can assign groups of controls, so it might well be that on layer one uh, it's kind of Q play functions, layer two hot cues and here you could have a lot lot of them especially if you have two units um, and layer three might be something for effects use the zone k1 doesn't have latching layers but we still have a shift function here for doubling up our controls the k2 comes with a carry case that doubles as a stand so you can then elevate this to mix a height if you want the case with the k1 that's an optional accessory those are kind of the main subtle differences k2 controller with sound card and latching layers Zone K1, controller, no sound card, no latching layers. They both still feature X-Link, you can still daisy chain, you can still create varied setups, more modular approach. They're lightweight and portable, and um, they're very versatile. Have a look at both, decide what works for you. It might well be that you need a combination of one, one or the other, or, or actually both, or you might want multiple K2s, or you think, I really don't need the sound cards, I've invested in my own, then try the Zone K1.